What's up everybody, it's me Jordan, and I'm back with another drawing video. This time I'm drawing Nicholas Brown from the anime Gangster. It seems a little bit weird to me that this anime is called Gangster. I haven't seen it, but I'm assuming it's set in Japan, so it seems like it'd be more natural for it to be called Yakuza. But I guess the Yakuza is more of a crime syndicate, and he's probably not part of that, he just does some gangster stuff. So I guess Gangster is a fine name for the anime. Or maybe it features 50 Cent and Eminem or something. I totally watched that. <laughs> but anyway, on to the actual drawing. This was a request I got a while ago, and while I'm on the topic of requests, I just want to tell you guys that I literally get hundreds of requests. I've gotten that many, and it's just impossible for me to actually draw all of them and put a lot of effort into the drawings, because I try and do a really good job on these. I'm fine with people making suggestions of characters they want me to draw, but I just want people to keep in mind that they're not the only ones who have asked for characters to be drawn, and I've already got a really long list of characters that I'm planning on drawing, and some that I'm already working on that just need a little bit more time. So I just don't want people to get disappointed when they ask for a character and they're expecting me to suddenly do the drawing and have that video come out in a couple of weeks, because it's just not going to happen. Like, it's going to take months probably longer and that's even if I get around to your character because honestly I'm at the stage where I'm just choosing characters that I want to draw because I don't want to just be drawing other people's characters if I'm not interested in them at all. So that's kind of just the situation that's at at the moment. So I just don't want to disappoint people with that. I want people to look at it as a bonus if I get around to your character, not so much an expectation. That way you won't be disappointed. And I hope that you enjoy these drawing videos anyway, even if it's not your character. Because I think there's still some really cool drawings here, and it might not be the exact character you asked me to draw, but I hope you can enjoy the process anyway. I'm sorry for dragging this out, but I just felt like I had to kind of address this because I get a few messages with people asking kind of what's going on with the characters I've requested, and I've already been waiting a really long time. So I know it kind of sucks, and I'm sorry. I can't do everything, but I'm trying my best, and I think most people enjoy these videos regardless of the character anyway. So I really appreciate all the support from you guys. But let's get on to the actual drawing before it's finished, and we'll talk a little bit about some of the techniques and what I'm doing. I'm colouring his jacket, and you'll notice the first coat that I went down with, I didn't really care about how uneven it was, I guess. It wasn't blended smooth. But the whole idea of that was just laying down a base coat and then by the time I go over it with all the different shades and the different tones and just add all the shading in it, it's going to cover that up anyway and it's not going to matter. Plus a little bit of texture can be good. Not everything has to be completely smooth and perfectly blended. You can use the texture to your advantage to create more detail and make it look more realistic and interesting to look at. Copics are a really interesting medium to work with. They remind me a lot of paints in the way that you can do a lot of layering similar to that. But with Copics, you've got to be really careful that you don't overwork it. Because if you try and layer too much, by the time you get to the darker colours that you want it to be, if you've gone too far, the paper can already be a bit destroyed and the colours won't go in as well. So you just got to be careful and sometimes show a little bit of restraint. Because a mistake that I've made a lot in the past and still sometimes do is I try and do too many layers of lighter colours and yeah, by the time I get to the dark colours the paper isn't really in the best state anymore so that's something worth keeping in mind sometimes you've just got to push on with the drawing because if you stay back in one area trying to get the shading perfect you can often overwork it and you're going to regret it later so just kind of push on with it and then you can come back later with some darker colours maybe and then kind of fix it all up this is something that I've definitely struggled with sometimes. I find it really hard to move on from an area which I know needs a lot of work. It just kind of irritates me, but I've found out that if I actually just keep going with the drawing, by the time that I go back to that kind of trouble area, I've got kind of fresh perspective on it and I'll actually do a better job. Now I'm going in and colouring his pants. There's lots of really dull kind of beige and khaki colours in this drawing, so my biggest concern was that it was going to look a bit bland and the pants were kind of just going to blend in with his jacket as well. But I think what really helps, later in I go in and add all the blood to his jacket and his pants are just basically everywhere. And that makes it look a lot more interesting and adds some more detail. And the red really helps make the drawing look interesting. 
having a bright colour like red is a really kind of feature colour and it'll make a drawing pop a lot more. So it can really bring some attention to certain areas that you add it to. So even though the drawing's looking a bit bland at the moment, but once I go in and add some red, it's going to really bring it out like BAM! So when you're colouring your drawings, think about how you can use each colour to its full potential. That sounds really lame, but what I'm trying to say is that different colours can be used really effectively in certain situations. Like I was saying before, the reds can be a really strong feature colour and it'll draw your attention to that area. But you can also use different colours, like if you want some cool shading, you can bring in blues or purples, and it brings a whole different vibe to your drawing. It's just something that becomes more natural the more you draw. So you can take, for example, the jacket that he's wearing. A beginner artist would look at that and say, okay, it's a brown jacket, I'll just colour it brown. They'll use just a couple of different tones of brown. But what I've done, I've brought in some kind of like purplish grey shading as well. It's probably not a perfect example because I haven't finished shading the jacket yet so it still kind of looks bad. But what I'm saying is that if you bring in some slightly different colours, it can bring a lot more depth and dimension to it. Whereas if you just use the same tones of one colour, it's going to look a lot flatter. So it's something to keep in mind to look a little bit deeper when you're choosing colours for your drawings. It's a pretty subtle effect, but I think it definitely makes a difference and it can make your artwork stand out a lot more and make it look a lot more interesting. Probably a better example of this is the way that I colour skin. So you can see in this drawing here that I've got some purples and some slight pinkish colours as well. And that's just something that I always do when colouring skin and I think it makes it stand out a lot more. And that's the kind of technique that a lot of beginner artists wouldn't even consider doing because they just look at something and try and mimic the colours. But you've got to understand that there's reflecting colours, there's a lot more colour to everything if you look closely. I just want to make it clear when I say beginner artists, I don't mean to talk down to anyone because at the end of the day we all start somewhere. And I used to be a terrible artist. So I just try and give advice from the level that I'm at. I'm not saying everything that I say is correct because who knows, in a couple of years I might be saying different advice which contradicts what I'm saying now. But I just try and give some general advice because I have been drawing for a long time and this is kind of stuff that I've personally picked up along the way and that I think could actually help some people who are newer to drawing or just want some tips and some different perspectives from different artists. But I think it's always good to get advice from different artists because you can get so many different perspectives and opinions from different people and you kind of just choose what works for you and then you can bring that all together and then create your own style. So what I'm trying to say is with all this advice that I give, there's just so many different ways to do things. I don't think there's any right or wrong way. It's just whatever works for you. So if some of the advice I give doesn't work for you, then don't take it and you know do your own thing so it's all good that's the beauty of art I guess there's just everyone's got their own way of doing things and I think that's what makes people's artworks unique and enjoyable to look at but now I'm just rambling <laughs> so this drawing's pretty much done you saw I did some more shading with some soft pastels earlier now I'm just going in and adding some background and some highlights with my trusty white gel pen to make the blood nice and shiny and just help the character stand out a little bit more. This drawing's pretty much done. I'm just gonna go and add a couple of highlights in the background as well. And then it's all done. So I hope you guys have been enjoying these drawing videos. Heaps more are still on the way. So if you enjoy them, let me know by giving them a thumbs up. Like always, I really appreciate all the support and nice comments I get from you guys. I know I say it a lot, but I really do appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next week in next week's drawing video.